stripe will go in the middle. Originally, we put the color of the rank in the middle, but those are going to phase out and all the, all the newer ones will have blue whatever, da 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 da. Okay? Just so you know what's going on with the colors there. Um, well, I thought the blue represents my country, Israel. It does, but I mean, that's the blue chain. The blue chain. You guys know that already, right? Yeah. Um, so, bring them up. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, first of all, guys, very, very proud of you. And I want to really, I want you guys to give a round of applause for Steve. Oh, Steve. Yeah. Come on up here. Get up here. Yeah, this is our Halloween party. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so listen, um, I'm gonna make this short, sweet. I'm really proud of every single one of you guys. Uh, some of you guys come in here with some infirmities. You're not the youngest. Um, some are young and choose to play with this, and they want to get better. It's all about getting better every single day, and that's what you guys decided to do: protect yourselves. And um, for me, my martial arts is a very personal thing. And uh, especially feel very honored to be with my two senseis here. They've taught me so much, and I'm so grateful. And you never, well, how's the saying goes, you uh, never really do, you never accomplish anything until you've given or done something for somebody that can't really pay you back for it. And I definitely want to pay my homage and respect to my two senseis. So, oh, yes, yeah, thank you. Out, please. All right, thank, thank you guys. Uh, he, I, oh, Santos! My brother. Thank you, Sensei Kian. Awesome. All right, so everything that was a journal for you, martial arts is your journey. This belt is your belt. Don't let anybody say, oh, well, you know, what did you do? And, and, and downplay or downgrade it. This is a personal achievement for you. This doesn't mean that you're bigger and badder and can go out and beat everybody up in the street. What this means is your, this is your achievement that you're making yourself better, and this is a way to gauge that. And that's the very reason why we use belts. Belts don't protect the street, but the knowledge that you learn here does. And this represents the knowledge. So as you enter the mat, we do bow. We do bow to the head of the mat because it shows respect for what the institution of learning and for all the people that come here and sweat and drop blood on these mats and to honor it, okay? So with that said, move forward here. Step Two steps here on the mat, bow to the end of the mat. Can I stay on the mat? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, blood, sweat, and tears. We're, we're being crybabies uh, in this mat here. Uh, uh, Steve, I know you've been uh, uh, mentoring these guys incredibly. Uh, it's very invaluable in terms of uh, coming from a leadership perspective to have such a good, amazing, talented man, you know, uh, and his family that we're proud to be able to uh, teach and share and learn with and all that. So I think Steve's done a great job uh, helping out. I give, it, I give it up. I give it up for Jamil too because. Uh, He's taken, uh, he's taken a great leadership role, didn't hesitate one second, and he's here to do whatever uh, needs to be done. Um, a very talented uh, guy as well, great dad, and uh, amongst the, the men that stand up here, we're very proud to have Jamil in the program. So, I'll make a quick comment in terms of like skill sets and stuff like that. So, um, the Kapop is the original name for the Krav Maga. Uh, how do you say it in Hebrew? Right. So, yeah, I'm grateful that Shion Jacob, who's been a dear friend of mine over 35 years, maybe more, I don't even know. <laughs> We've done martial arts uh, for a long time together um, on many different levels and different platforms uh, with a very proud uh, lineage uh, that's second to none that we're proud of. Um, uh, the Supreme Grand Master Moshe is from Israel. I don't know if you guys watch the Facebook posts and stuff. He's following. Uh, yeah, you guys, yeah, he's following you watch this today. You'll see. Yeah. Look at this. He came here what 15 or 20 years ago. Uh, we made last time six years ago. Yeah. So we are uh, we are uh, the Sensei Jacob is the uh, the uh, uh, what's the title for the uh, USA Chief, Chief, Chief Instructor Kapat. And with FEMA, I'm a representative of Kapap USA. FEMA is Federation of Israeli Martial Arts, Authentical Martial Arts. So, anyways, you go ahead and finish. No, so with that said, we represent um, the homeland. Like he said, the blue represents Israel, right? Also, Champions actually is the first and the only center representative Kapap Krav Maga 
in the United States underneath Moshe and myself. There is one school in Sacramento, but the guy doesn't even represent. He's not the center. This is the center. And if you want to look at it, Spencer, you got the yeah, yeah, he's got yeah, a certificate yeah. from the wall. So you guys are are, are the seedlings. Um, and the fact that you've endured through this challenging time uh, that's been difficult for all of us, trust me. I know you guys feel my personal pain trying to keep this guy going, but it's, it's lifted my, my game to a level like nobody else. You know, you want to see somebody uh, uh, do their best, you put them under pressure, extreme pressure. And the warriors and the cream of the crop, they rise to the top. I'm built for this, make no mistake. We're standing here for a reason. It could have been easy for me to tap out seven months ago. And I had plenty of lists and reasons and excuses that I could have, I could do go a mile long way, right? But those, that's all they are, you know? We never bow down to that. Uh, we're the last man standing um, and we're the ones that are enduring, you know, that's how it works. So uh, I'm, I'm especially proud to be able to have Shihan here and the senseis here to be able to promote you guys here. It's just the beginning. But keep in mind, when you guys look back and you say, wow, I'm part of the Pop Problem of God, House of Champions, I was one of the, the seedlings. I know what that feeling feels like coming from a prestigious institution, being uh, uh, underneath Benny the Jet and the Nikita's family all these years. But, um, and not just him, Grandmaster Kokoi and Moshe and uh, on and on and on and on. Brothers and sisters from around the world. Uh, we're a proud group of people. And I know you guys uh, are as well. So uh, keep that in mind, you know, have a great rest of the day for Halloween and all that, and we'll get ready to come up. Sensei, did you want to say anything? <laughs> all right. Sensei, oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, go for uh, it. Well, I just want to say thank you guys for your dedication, number one. Dedication, that's your time and effort uh, into your personal development. That's, uh, that, you know, it's just, this is just an evidence of it. So I want to say thank you guys for putting that time and effort. And also, thank you for putting the time and effort physically on me because you know, I know that you've earned it because you put it on me as well. I can feel it, I can feel your energy, I can feel your vibe, and I can feel you doing the techniques on me. And you guys know I'm getting good left and right, and that's perfectly fine because I am, for you guys, most of the well, at any time, I am your Yuki. You know, it is, I'm your training partner as well. But, so, but if you want to, you know, hit me as hard as you can, you know, I try to take it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sensei. Sensei. So, I'm going to try to make it very short, guys. I'm looking at your shirts, what are beautiful. But just remember one thing. Krav Maga is very, very popular and very famous around the world. People know it's Israeli, badass, da 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 If you wear the shirt, be sometimes aware of it that you could be challenged. People go, oh, you do Krav Maga, so show me what the... Listen, you guys are the lucky some people that are learning to be one man warrior. Meaning, in my military, my country, we learned that every individual is his own warrior, is his own bodyguard. And that's the art you're learning. To see people like Terry and Mark that is still here makes me very, very proud. I'm going on my 69 year in about four months, and I'm still doing it very strong three times a week. Kian comes and trains with me once a week, so he can keep up with you guys. It makes me and Moshe and everybody else so proud to see that I wish other people in America or in Los Angeles would be as smart as you guys are. Because like I told Sensei Mark behind the counter, I said, when the shit hit the fan, and excuse my language, ladies, you guys are going to be one of the some ones that will actually know to survive out there, mentally, physically. Most people are just going to go in the corner and wait for Biden to give them a piece of bread. <laughs> so regardless to what I'm saying is, it doesn't matter what you believe in, Believe in yourself. Krav Maga makes you your own samurai, your own warrior, your own believing. And through life, I've been through a lot of it, and it saved my life so many times. And I'm sure that people come up on the range, Kian and everybody else that I know, they'll start telling you the same story that they experienced, what this has done for them. So I'm very proud of you guys. I'm glad to come here and see that tradition continues. And uh, I just came here to say hi to Kian and spend a couple of hours with you guys. and. I'm glad that I made it a promotion to be part of it, so good luck and I'm very proud. Give it up for Shihan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just one last yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. You guys are all different because you're here. And that says something about who you are and the way you view life. And there's not that many people that do this sort of thing, even with the challenges that you have. 
So I, I really, really respect that. And the other part I want to just say is how you get to this, you just don't give up. You don't have to have some special skill or some special superpower. You just don't give up. And that's the same way in life with everything. Just yes. don't give up, okay? What's that? With that, I'm going to call up Deb. Give it up, guys. Give it up, Mark. confidence as you're getting the rewards of the program and the mentality mainly because the system started to be taught in Israel and to young people in Israel before the state was created Gorgeous. is to go from home to the battlefield in a matter of one or two days of training and this is what this art can do for you if you like it I would say forget about yeah. money forget about anything else recommend friends have them come and get the experience Kian is a very experienced instructor been doing this for a while. He's seen by Sensei Mark. He's seen by me. He's working on it all the time. He's been in Israel. He's trained. He goes out shooting. He does everything he can to keep getting better and better and better. And we all do. After 53 years, I'm still a student. I still teach. I still learn. Amen. Amen. I still work. Okay. Amen. So I'm very proud of you guys. Really. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Even want to reveal a little something Sensei Jacob said. He's been watching some of you guys for a while. Have been coming. I was very impressed. Yeah, the motivation for me, why I'm so proud of Mark, is I remember he came in and said, my neighbor bothers me, Sensei, what should I do? And I said, well, first of all, don't get in a fight with him. But if you have to learn how to control, observe, and be able to tolerate him, and if you need to, put a finger on him, then start training him. Four years, right? Four years, guys. So, Mark, especially for you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Well done to the heart. Yeah. Up. Whoa. Yeah. 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 Yeah
the to the hot stuff. Yeah, turn your belt to the left side. Everybody, push the belt to the hot stuff. Yeah, so Debbie, move out a little bit, back up this way. 